Hi guys and welcome back to Samurai Mama. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make honto rice, also known as ganduli rice, in the instant pot. This is a Puerto Rican dish. Once again, I grew up in Hawaii. In Hawaii, it's the boiling pot of the world. We grew up eating all kinds of foods from diff different ethnic groups. This is one of my favorites that I took the time to learn. However, um, Instant Pot is sort of a new thing. I've done it a couple of times in the Instant Pot. So i um, looking forward to how it comes out this time because this is a slightly different recipe. I do have a recipe, an original recipe that a late friend of mine gave to me. And that's for that was before the Instant Pot craze came out and it was for on the stove top. And of course, cooking on the stove does take quite a bit longer than cooking in the Instant Pot. So we'll go ahead and show you a simple Instant Pot recipe for honto rice, also known as ganduli rice. So stay tuned and let's get dinner started. So besides the rice, which is not pictured here, we're using chopped pork, chicken broth, pigeon peas, black olives, tomato sauce, salzon goya packets, achote seeds, vegetable oil, cilantro, chopped onions, and garlic. First, let's start off by infusing the vegetable oil with the achote seeds. And we do this by heating up the oil for several minutes until the oil turns color. Now you can see it's yellow and this means the flavor is now infused. So we've set the instant pot to saute and it is now hot enough to add oil. Then we're going to add in the chopped pork so we can brown the meat. As you can see the oil is sizzling because it is hot. Stir and scrape as you stir. Add in your chopped onions and garlic as much as you want. My family is not a fan of onions, so I don't ever put very much in there. And give it a good stir. Next, we're gonna add in the seasoning packets. And notice that it's broken into two little packets. We're gonna start with the two to, just to start and see how that goes. We can always add more later if we need to. Mix that up well. Pigeon peas. Olives. Four ounces of tomato sauce. And about four tablespoons of the achote infused vegetable oil. cilantro. Give it a good stir. Make sure all the ingredients become good friends. And then we add four cups of washed rice. Make sure that's stirred in well and then we can add the chicken broth. Close the lid, make sure you set to seal, turn off the saute, hit rice, and wait. Time's up. Mm. 
Once the pin has dropped, it's safe to open the lid. See what it looks like inside. It's cooked very well. Mixing it up. Let's give it a taste. I think it might need some more seasoning packets. Let's go ahead and add two more. Mixed up well, let's give it another taste. Yep, it's good. Go ahead and plate your junto rice. Give it a sprig of cilantro for decoration. Ready to eat. Let's go cow cow. Well, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, it's free. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll know when I upload my next video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.